right, hello. It is February 7th. Just uh, checking in, checking out. Right now, I, I guess I'm checking out all this, this beautiful, I don't think we're gonna get this sunset as cool as it looks. Anyways, uh, out with Tucker right now. Had a fun-filled day. Alright, welcome back. Doing the recap for February 7th. Did one last night, uh, but I didn't like it, so I'm doing a new one now. And then I lost my selfie stick, or misplaced it, so now I'm having to hold this. So it's, uh, uh, hopefully this one <laughs> works out better still. Anyways, I digress. Let's see, so yesterday was uh, actually a, a fun-filled day, or I mean every day is fun-filled, action-packed. Like we had a lot of, you know, we had a number of things going on, have a lot of videos to show, so that will be, um, you know, some interesting things to show you. Uh, first of all, we had uh, presentations yesterday, uh, and like on Fridays the girls do, uh, you know, a little uh, topic where they um, give a little video and presentation. Anyways, kind of, you know, it kind of started as like a book report, but uh, not a book report, just uh, research topics. Well, now we we did one on a persuasive speech or a persuasive topic. So uh, Capri's topic, she chose uh, her persuade, you know, to persuade us on buying her a bunny. Uh, that was really cute. Um, and Paisley's, or no, actually Savannah went next. Uh, Savannah's was on uh, her getting a, a, a cell phone of her own. Right now they, they share one, so why she, she should have her own. And then um, uh, and then uh, Paisley, she did one on... All right, sorry about that. Uh, somebody was driving up on the, the driveway. But uh, Paisley did her report on uh, why uh, we should decide to settle in the city instead of uh, a rural, like a country, rural area. Um, so... You know, that was fun. Um, just always enjoy it. Reasons why I should have a bunny. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so, um, because I could do chores and save up. Girl. All right. Oh, yeah. uh, 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 ow. Okay. So why I should I don't get a know what that phone. Means. So that I, you don't have to listen to me complain so often. Uh, also, I can keep in touch with my friends so that we can still stay friends forever, plus relatives. <laughs> and I'm about to turn 11, and most 11-year-olds get their own phone. There we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, I copy and paste those from the internet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who are you Cap. thinking? Ooh, in the city. In this essay, I will explain to you why living in the city is better than living in the countryish place away from the city. Rural, okay. For example, transportation, public, and um. Oh wait, this is this is Phoenix, by the way. Um, transportation, public, and shelter. So this is transportation, public, and shelter. Living in the city is better traveling wise because you have more transportation like taxis and school buses. That was great with the girls' reports, and then we went to the Clinton House Museum here in Fayetteville. Um, this is uh, Hillary and or Bill and Hillary were uh, married here. Just kind of surreal to think about um, just somebody living there and you know, just probably not expecting to have their house one day be a museum. Uh, you know, that that's what kind of struck me because, you know, they had done some of their own, there's like a, like a little project, a little weekend project they did. And you know, it was just cute little stories about how Bill had, uh, you know, promote, uh, or, uh, uh, oh my goodness, anyways. So, um, 
proposed. Man, I knew it was in it. I knew there was a P word. Anyways, um, and you know, I just really like, you know, it's just crazy to think about just somebody living their normal life there. Um, and so that was, you know, it's just a great part about all these museums, just really putting yourself back into the place of, of these people. Um, and then a really cool part about that too was we were able to make Camp Payton buttons, little, uh, like a little hand stamped press thing. And uh, the girls really enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I, I made a little button. Uh, I'll show you a clip of me trying to catch that last night. Uh, Paisley made a, a button, uh, Slothy for president. That's her little, uh, her little stuffed animal child. And uh, Capri uh, put her name and also her, her little stuffed animal children, Bubbles and Bibbles. And then Savannah put her name and uh, uh, Hola, como estas? And uh, you know, just fits their uh, personality so much. So that was really cool. Uh, little extra treat um, at the museum so that was a, a cool little stop you know just another place to uh, learn a little bit of history and, and get an idea into other people's lives which is uh, the whole purpose of this just to help expand our own understanding and uh, idea of, of what it is to be in somebody else's shoes or lives or what they're experiencing and how blessed we are all right so here we are at the uh, Clinton House Museum Excited to check it out. We were waiting until Mima got here. And now the day is finally here. We even kind of passed it. Just didn't recognize that it was just a little house off of the street. So, very cool. This is room number three. Okay. It's the kitchen. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Okay. Yeah, this is everybody's favorite part so far. It's a picture of him and his beard. Vote for Slothy. How neat. Let me see yours. Let me watch yours. Hola, como estas? I love it. Cool, let me see what you get. Or would you, let me see what it looks like after it's all made. Wow, love it. This uh, cool button. I mean, come on, how would you not vote for this guy? I mean, definitely slothy for president. I mean, yeah. he's cool like his mommy. Next, uh, we went to the Prairie Grove Battlefield, the Civil War Battlefield. That was just so interesting too. We ended up only getting a chance to see it, the museum. We didn't go around onto the grounds. So we're gonna go back for that later. 
it was just so interesting. I mean, the museum was so interactive and had um, so much uh, cool information that was easy to uh, digest and share with the girls. So that was really fun, just getting to learn and, and experience so much more. Uh, they had stuff on photography and, and the age of that. So just going through all of those things, um, you know, really them understanding warfare, weapon, and how much that hurts. and you know just questioning and asking and finding out more about you know how the north and south split and you're just you know filling in so much information from school that you missed or didn't understand at that time or understanding in a completely different context you know and it's talking about the nation being divided and their beliefs and you know it's just really makes you appreciate you know the the country that we do have and you know the world that we do live in and um the ability you know that or even just the hope that um, even though there are times where we get divided that you know we can become you know one you know people that that feel united and together and like a family and a community and I think that's you know a big place that you know I, I want to go and be understanding more of like being no longer being a part of a real small community it's kind of like we're at the really recognizing that we're at the at a larger community that there's the whole world, that there's so many other people that are also a part of our community, not just uh, those people that live, you know, in, in your zip code or, or near this one particular house. So I um, hope to share that with everybody and that that's something that we all take away from this trip. So force all of its energy that way and yeah. then so that way you can force that ball. Right here. 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 So did you see did you read that? So now it's giving you the trajectory. Do you know what the, so one at a time you guys I don't know why everybody's doing this at the same time. But do you see how it like how far it goes? And then later on in the day, it was uh, another cool. We just we just kept it rolling. You know, of course, we went home, had some dinner, um, and just kind of relaxed. And then we went to there's Tucker. There's Tucker. How you doing, buddy? He's uh, watching Mima. He must out in the car getting ready, getting some more stuff. And uh, but so last night, Mima, all of us, uh, all the kids, we went to go see uh, Little Women at the movie theater. Went for one of the uh, late night movies. It was cool. We we're like the only ones in the theater. Um, one other, one other person. Uh, just really nice. Uh, you know, they have those reclining seats. So that was cool. And the movie was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. The kids really liked it. Uh, you know, really got them talking. And then it had that same that Civil War theme that wasn't our, you know our objective but that was a, a part of that and it was neat to kind of encompass that in a roundabout way and you know just for them to you know just a story about sisters and uh, them fighting and you know loving and just the relationship and you know so I think that really hit home for everybody and uh, it was just a neat experience also being there so late we left and there was nobody else in the theater the whole place is empty just the cleaners and um, so that was that was, you know, that was pretty funny. And, uh, you know, just really cool for the kids to get to experience or be a part of, you know, just closing the place down. 
So what did you think? I liked it. You liked it? What did you think, Savannah? It was really good. Yeah, the sister, yeah. Because, because she, like, over there, like, in that group, she was like, I love you. And he's like, I love you, I love you, like, I love you, whatever her name is, I love you, whatever. Joe. Yeah, like, no, 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 oh. Um, no, like, the, you know, like, in that field where she's like, yeah, where she said that she didn't. Yeah, it's Joe. It's Joe so oh, Joe? Anyway, oh, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. you, I love well, you. Yeah, she's like, I love you, Joe, I love you, I love you, Joe. I think it's just really weird because, like, she, she doesn't. Yeah. Watch <laughs> it. Really Awkward. <laughs> what about you, Paisley? Really Paisley, what do you think? I think I think it was good. It was like really sad. It was sad. Yeah. No, it was sad. Like you know, definitely touching. And... Oh, you think Joe should have ended up with the neighbor? No, I think, no, I think she should have oh. ended up with Penny or something. The who? The painter. The, no, but she did. So oh, I, the, I he was a professor. Okay, yes. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I think I think she should. Have. She got she. They landed with all the right people. Uh, and we got all we all got home. Uh, you know, fine and uh, no black ice or you know things like that. So very uh, happy and uh, blessed and appreciative to uh, have another fantastic day under our belt and uh, ready for another one. So I'm gonna do my morning intro clip and then uh, find out what today has in store for has in store for us. So thanks for uh, checking out what we did uh, yesterday on Friday the 7th and uh, hope you join us for more. Bye, till next time.